George Floyd, the man killed in police custody late last month and whose death has sparked worldwide protests, was laid to rest today in his hometown of Houston. Among the speakers at the funeral was the city's mayor. Who would have thought that his name would now be mentioned in South Africa, Canada, Nairobi, Berlin, South Korea, Europe? A person who may not have been known by many before, but what folk meant for evil, God has turned it out for good. In front of thousands of mourners, Mayor Sylvester Turner also said that he will sign an executive order banning chokeholds by police. Philip Crowther, international affiliate reporter for the Associated Press, joins me now with more from Houston. Philip, welcome back. Good to see you. Good to be with you. Thank you. Oh, Phil, today's service really was a powerful tribute to George Floyd. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, and we just heard actually from the Reverend Al Sharpton, the civil rights leader who delivered and is delivering the eulogy right now for George Floyd here in this enormous church on the outskirts of Houston. It has been a, a mournful tribute to George Floyd, a tribute to him, but at the very same time, of course, you cannot forget and nobody inside this church can forget the bigger subjects at hand, the protests that of course happened after the death of George Floyd. Let me give you some examples of who we heard from uh, during this funeral here in Houston. We heard from family members of George Floyd, his niece, for example, saying this in reference to the president's election slogan. She says, someone said, make America great again. When was America great, she said. And then we heard, by the way, also from the former Vice President Joe Biden, not in person. He was here in Houston yesterday to meet with family members of George Floyd. He uh, sent over a video message in tribute to George Floyd, but again, of course, made a reference to this historic moment that the United States is going through right now. Well, as you just man mentioned, George Floyd's death has sparked protests across the country. I know that uh, you've covered some of those in Washington and Minneapolis, as well as memorial services in Minneapolis and now in Houston. Let's talk about the impact that George Floyd had on this nation. Yeah, it's an enormous impact that he's had. Uh, that he's been described here by pastors and by friends and family as a humble man from humble beginnings who did say he want, wanted to become famous one day, but of course not in this way. But tributes here being paid to George Floyd as somebody who managed to change the world after his death. Those are the kinds of tributes uh, we have been hearing here about the 46-year-old man who died uh, in Minneapolis now just over two weeks ago. Uh, we've really seen a little shift, though, in the the feeling, if you will, in protests over the last few weeks. The anger seems to have subsided somewhat. Now there seems to be that space for an serious, deep, earnest discussion in this country about race relations, about police brutality, about uh, the lack of equality. Those are all subject matters that came up in this funeral here in Houston. And the protesters and those also who came here yesterday for the public viewing of the body of George Floyd, all of these people want to talk about these difficult subject matters right now. It does seem a little bit like an inflection point right now. Yeah, Philip, and his death has renewed conversations about race and policing in this country. Uh, protests are calling for big changes, and we've already seen some movement already since George Floyd's death. Yes, and a lot of those are happening at a local level, for example, as you just heard from the uh, mayor of Houston, the fact that chokeholds would not be allowed anymore here in Houston by the police force. The same happening in other uh, states, in other cities, and indeed in other countries, like in France, for example, a reaction uh, to the protests happening in that country as well. Just another sign of how this has turned into a worldwide protest movement. As for changes on the national level, well, we know, know that those will be discussed up on Capitol Hill over the next few weeks and months. But of course, most likely we are going to see further division, as we know, between Democrats and Republicans, including on this subject matter as well. Now, Philip, thank you so much for your time. Philip Crowther, international affiliate reporter for the Associated Press. Thank you again. Thank you.